bad mix can kill the vibe of your instrumental. To give them a love, you have to mix them properly. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to correctly mix and master your instrumental. We're gonna see the basics, compression, equalization, reverb, delay, saturation, and more. Let's have some fun. Here is the instrumental we're gonna mix today. I created this one earlier this month. I even dropped a tutorial for the arrangement. You can just check them out. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. So let's listen to what we have. This is the intro. Some night sacks, very interesting. You can clearly hear the instrumental sound nice already. I use high quality sample, guys. So, if you want your instrumental to really sound like you want it, always use good sample. So, now we're gonna just jump to the gangster gen. When I'm mixing my, my beat, I start with the gangster gen after I equalize everything. Make sure I remove all the bad frequency that I don't want in my mix, and after I add reverb, delay, saturation, and more effects. So, let's start with the gangster gen. First, turn your master channel into mono with this knob and lower the volume of your headphone on your audio interface. And this process, we're gonna make sure that every element that we use on this instrumental sound loud enough. So <laughs> Let me choose this part of this song where we have Nice sound nice already because when I'm making my beat, I already start with the gain stage and uh, I'm basically set level for my instrument when I'm making my beat. So this is the reason why I take less time. But for your instrumental, you have to spend more time and trying to make sure to that everything sound loud enough. Now let's start with the equalization. In this process, we're gonna remove all the frequencies that we don't want. For example, on this key. So let's start with an high pass on this one. Cause I don't really need those low frequencies right here. And next thing I'm gonna do is maybe add a flanger or some flanger. You can use this word button or you can use this one right here to blend. I'm gonna add some reverb or you can use the reverb that is on the plugin. But I'm gonna use this reverb. I love this reverb, guys. I have more control. And next, let's jump to the pad or the guitar. I'm gonna remove the low frequencies that I don't want and then leave space for the bass. Basically, I'm gonna do this process for all 
the instrument that I was. I'm gonna remove frequencies that I, I don't want. I'm gonna add delay. I'm gonna add reverb and add another effects on them. But for this sax, our first thing is gonna be to remove some the low frequencies. And next thing I'm gonna do is add the Tiki Five plugin to add some saturation. Okay, it sounds more full, more nice at the same time. Uh, let me just add some reverb. And now if I play everything. You can see I don't do too much on this drum cause they sound well already. And uh, they are from my drum kit and my drum kit are well mixed and you guys don't need to do too much on this sample from my drum kit. And now next thing gonna be the vocals. Add some con fluty convolver on them. But I'm gonna make sure to add a low pass. High pass, sorry. Low cut. This is one of my favorite tools. The armor is this plugin add also nice. You can see the top high end sound really nice, sound so smooth. I got to do something with this pad. It's all over the place. Use a bent pace. Bent pace is the combination with a low pass and a high pass. You see, it's a bent pace. This beat is crazy. I'm gonna drop this one on, on YouTube soon. I always make sure to mix everything well and I don't really need to do too much on my master. Sometimes I just bring the L1 into a maximizer and boom. I always make sure that my levels are white. That's it. Sometimes I use more processing plugin, but if you gonna if you want to keep everything simple, make sure you mix your beat so well that you only need an ultra maximizer or a limiter to bring the volume of your instrumental up, and then you're good to go. And let's listen to what we have now. Let me check this one in mono to see. Let me play the final result for you guys. It's basically my process when I mix my beat for YouTube. And you can see when you switch from mono to stereo, you will definitely see sound that instrument that sound too loud in your mix and you can bring the volume back down and then yeah, that's it. So guys, now I'm gonna let you enjoy the final result.
that's it guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this mixing tutorial and please tell me in the comment section if you want more content like this follow me on instagram at sammy beats and see you guys bow